Is Rudy Gobert worthy of the Hall of Fame? Let's talk about it. The reason why we're making this video is because I was yesterday on Instagram scrolling and I came across this random ass quote from Rudy Gobert and they asked him about the All-Star Game snub, quote unquote snub, because I don't think it should be in there that year. Um, and his answer was, I don't really care because at my Hall of Fame speech, I'll be able to joke about how many times I got to enjoy some extra vacation because I got snubbed for the All-Star Game. And when I see quotes like this, I like to go in the comments and everything to kind of check the temperature of what the people are thinking, right? And people were flaming Rudy Gobert, saying that he would never get into the Hall of Fame and all that stuff. And I understand that Rudy Gobert is not the most likable player in the NBA. He's not the most entertaining player in the NBA and that in a lot of ways he can be overrated because he's playing a regular season, cannot really translate into the playoffs. In fact, many times, although not, 100% because of him, he wasn't able to be played in the playoffs, especially on the Jazz and stuff, but he's going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> he's 100% going into the Hall of Fame. I don't know what these people were talking about. If you look at Rudy Gobert's career stats on his own, then it's nothing to be super impressed by because he's dropping 30.6, 13.6 points per game and 12 rebounds for his career. So that's not amazing. That's solid. But that shouldn't be Hall of Fame. However, if you look at his resume, he's a three-time All-Star. He's made All-NBA second team once. He was able to make All-NBA first team All-Defense six times in his career, which is a lot. Uh, he made three times All-NBA third team. Uh, he has one rebounding title, one blocking title, one silver uh, one silver medal at the Olympics, and last but not least, and I believe that this is what pretty much makes him a Hall of Famer off rip. I don't know about first ballot Hall of Famer, but he's going there. He has, he has defensive player of the year three times. Three times, y'all. Just off that, I don't care if his numbers drop below 10 points for his career. He is making the Hall of Fame. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Let's look at what the Hall of Fame looks like for basketball. Because in other sports, I don't know, but in the NBA, it feels like everyone can get in. Since 1960, which was the beginning of the Hall of Fame for the NBA, there's been 436 players and coaches and referees going into the Hall of Fame. So that's a lot. Out of that number, over 100 of them don't have a championship. So for all the guys that would be like, yeah, he hasn't won a championship or whatever, it's 100 of them who were able to get in. Only two players in history have more defensive players of the year than Rudy Gobert. That would be Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace, and they are four. If you look at what Rudy Gobert is doing this season, uh, anchoring the best defense in the NBA by far, the Minnesota Timberwolves have, are tied in the West for the first seed. I think it's safe to assume that bearing injury and him not being able to qualify for NBA awards, he's going to win the fourth one. So it would be tied for most defensive players of uh, of the year of all time. There's no way he's not making the Hall of Fame under those circumstances. Especially if you look at the numbers that Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace were putting up offensively, they're right there with Rudy Gobert. You know, so he's, he's making it. Uh, in the in the history of the NBA, there's only one player ever who did not make the Hall of Fame uh, with uh, several defensive player of the years, and that's a guy called Mark Eden who played in the 50s, and for his career, he averages six point eight rebounds and one assist with a career high of 10 points per game. So Rudy Gobert is way above those standards. So I don't see why he doesn't make it. So yeah, again, I understand Rudy Gobert. He has had some bad moments, man, when it comes to popularity. Uh, the COVID thing was crazy. Him crying. Uh, he came a long way from that. Him crying after being snubbed from the All-Star Game in 2016, all that stuff. The fact that he just got choked out by Rudy Gobert. And, uh, sorry, by Draymond Green didn't do a lot. Like, it's a lot with Rudy Gobert. Uh, even when sometimes he speaks, he doesn't really come off as that likable. But when it comes to his contribution to the game, man, he's, he's making the Hall of Fame. I know a lot of people may say, yeah, he shouldn't have won three times defensive player of the year, that he's overrated on defense, all that stuff. But when it's all said and done, all that context doesn't matter. What the people will look like is, all right, he's been able to get three to four, if not more defensive player of the year. Every team he's on uh, is anchored number one defense, the top three defenses in the league, no matter what, in different situations. So that's Hall of Fame worthy. And the thing that people need to understand about the Hall of Fame is that 
you might want to be a specialist at something. You'd be better off than just being a very good basketball player, but not the best at anything. And that's the Rudy Gobert situation. If you look at the league, I could name you a lot of guys that I would rather have than Rudy Gobert just because they're able to do way more on the court. But if you're not the best at anything, then Rudy Gobert would be recognized while although you're a better basketball player than Rudy Gobert, you won't get the accolades and you're not going into the Hall of Fame. So yeah, I feel like out of the active players... Rudy Gobert has one of the better cases for the Hall of Fame. I don't think we can name more than 10 players that are more likely to get in than Rudy Gobert currently playing. So, yeah, the man is going. <laughs> Godless of if you like it or not, I, I really think, yeah, I would be shocked if he did not find his way into the Hall of Fame at some point uh, further down the line. So, anyways, we're going to close the video right here. These are my thoughts. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. More importantly... Get in that comment section and tell me why you think Rudy Gobert should make the Hall of Fame and why he shouldn't, in your opinion. It's been your boy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.